Okay, let's take a look around this uh, 2000 on X um, Range Rover P38A uh, 4.6 Holland and Holland edition, uh, one of 100. Uh, we've had a couple of these through our hands before and I really, really like them actually. As always, finished in uh, tin turn green metallic um, with the special color coded wheels and everything. Most important thing with these is the interior um, in uh, I think it's uh, Cheshire or Chester, I can't remember, it's, it's, but it's, it's the correct interior on it, shall we say. Um, original UK car, this one's done 178,000 miles, just come into us in part exchange, uh, but the engine had a top end rebuild um, 1,000 miles ago, back in the summer. Um, standard spec uh, Holland and Holland, so it's got the factory sat nav, which still seems to work. Um, all the toys on it. Air conditioning condenser was recently replaced on this one as well. It's got a uh, tow pack. We'll come on to one or two of the blemishes in a minute. Well, we'll, we'll try and cover all of them in fairness. Um, but let's say the special interior. There we go. It is a very murky day here today, so the camera may appear sort of slightly fuzzy, but it's just because it's uh, rather murky and foggy rather than anything else. Anyway, let's, um, let's take a look around it. I'd say spec-wise, it's got pretty much everything on it. One thing it has got, which is completely superfluous on one of these, is an electric sunroof. Um, and I did open it the other day, <laughs> and it opened fine electrically, but um, it wouldn't close um, on, the, uh, on the switch. So I ended up having to, uh, to close it uh, manually using the uh, emergency system. So probably best you leave that alone, I think. Anyway, let's go around it. Paintwork wise, it's actually that the main body panels are really good, especially considering it's now 19 years old. I don't think it's had any paintwork. Uh, there are one or two areas that we'll highlight. Um, bonnet is actually pretty good. It's, it looks a bit smeary in the photos, so it's just because it's we only polished it yesterday and it's um it's very damp and murky here today, but uh, uh, it does um it does polish up very nicely. Um, so yeah, paint on the sort of the, the few stone chips around the front end as you might expect. There's a bit of lacquer loss just there in the corner of the um, the offside front bumper area and a slight crack and scuff on the bumper just there. Around this side, again, we've got a slight scuff on the uh, the near side front bumper corner. Oh, I say this, this one's standard spec. This one's also been converted to a coil suspension from the um, potentially troublesome air suspension. Looking down the near side, it looks really, really straight. There's no parking dinks or anything, which is a miracle considering it's age and mileage. Um, and as I say, down the sides, it's really rather nice. Pretty scratch free. Um, the screen is all good. There's no big chips in it anywhere. Roof panel is nice. Uh, passenger door, is that a scratch? No, it's just where we've, where we've polished it. Um, passenger door looks good. Now, as I say, the interior is the crowning glory on these ones. And this one has, as always, got a slightly sagging rear headlining. Um, not massively, but it is down a little bit. Uh, Cheshire leather's got one or two minor scuffs in it. On the passenger seat. Uh, that wood up here is good, but on the top of the centre console, has lost a little bit of its lacquer, I think. It's nothing cracking, apart from just by the little light switch there, but it's just a little bit faded around the um, around the, the centre console area, mainly on the on the top by the uh, by the switches. Uh, the original mats are still in place. Uh, they are a little bit grubby, but they are all there. I think the one in the driver's seat, driver's side, has got a bit of wear in the um, in the footwell, which is commensurate with the mileage. Again, doors. Um, near side rear door, again, very, very nice. And in here you've got your, uh, your picnic table, which just goes up and clips in like so. Um, rear seats, as, as often, you know, they don't look as if they've seen much use, the rear seats. And the door cards and everything. Near side rear wing, all pretty good. Tiny scratch just there. Now, um, one area that does need improvement is the rear bumper. Um, 
we have got quite a bit of lacquer loss along the top edge. It's unusual actually, the rest of the car hasn't suffered lacquer loss, but um, it's really only on the rear bumper here. And under here, it looks a bit unsightly, I'll give you that, but um, I haven't taken it off because I don't quite know what I'm going to find underneath. Um, previous owner said he managed to back it into his farm gate and uh, crack the rear bumper, so he put this um, gaffer tape on it. Um, we have actually, he did actually supply us with uh, a spare rear bumper for it. It is a different colour, it's a blue one, but obviously it could be painted to suit. Um, so we're quite happy if you want that to come with the car. Um, we don't really want to get involved in painting though, we're not really a body shop. Um, but I suppose we could farm it out if needs be. There is some rust or electricity reaction, whatever you like to call it. I can't remember if the tailgates on these are steel or uh, aluminium along the bottom edge of the lower tailgate, just along there. But otherwise, apart from a little bit of wear just there on the back of the vinyl trim. As I say, it is important to remember this is 19 years old. Um, looking down the offside again, looks very, very straight and tidy. And incidentally, all the wheels are in good shape. There's no real lack of loss on them or any nasties. They're just uh, quite nice. So apologies, it's not quite as clean, look, doesn't look quite as clean as it might be. It came into us absolutely filthy and it's just been constantly raining here yeah. since it came into us. Bit of a scratch just along, a scuff just along there on the rear valance and a tiny bit around the offside rear arch just there. Offside rear door, small scratch just there, but otherwise very good. And in here, again, looks as you would expect, shall we say. Um, driver's door, again, looks pretty good. What's that there? It's not a scratch. Um, offside front wing, again, looks pretty good. And we've talked about that little area down there. So look at the screen again up here. It's all nice. And then interior wise, driver's seat has got a little bit of scuffing on the uh, on the bolster edges, but considering it's done 178,000 miles, I think that's acceptable. The steering wheels have got some wear on it. Again, commensurate with the uh, with the age and mileage, really. It's the two-tone leather steering wheel. So I think there you have it. I mean, I, I, I like these, especially as they're so rare. They cost a fortune when they were new. The only P38 that's um, rarer is the Lindley. Um, anyway, there we have it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com.